To make your viewfinder, you need your A5 or A6 card case. Uh, you need a permanent marker as well uh, as a ruler. Uh, you will also be needing a template. So this is the A6 uh, full frame uh, template for uh, A5 or A6 uh, card case. Okay, so in this example, I'm just going to uh, do the A5 uh, size. Okay, I have uh, slipped in my template uh, in between my card case. Okay, and then well, what you need to do is to draw lines. Okay, according uh, to the grid. Okay, so uh, first I will draw the boundary because your cut case is bigger than the A5 size. Okay, so we'll draw that in. So follow the template and draw in the rule of third. If you do not have a template, you can just measure the breadth and the length and divide it into equal thirds. So uh, that will give you equal dimensions so that when you join the lines, you will get your rule of third. Okay, so when this is done, you can take away your template. Okay, and then uh, you will have your viewfinder. So in this case, I think my one line is not showing up well. I will have to draw this again. Okay. When you are using this viewfinder, uh, you will not be drawing on this side. Okay. When you are using your viewfinder, you will be using your whiteboard marker, but you will need to turn it around. Okay, the reason is that when you are using the whiteboard marker, after using, you'll be cleaning it away. You do not want to clean away your permanent lines. Okay, so use your whiteboard marker on the reverse side. It helps uh, if you were to write, okay, uh, at the side, right, somewhere where there's space, okay, draw this side. Okay, draw this side. Okay, or put a smiley face. Okay, in, so that, that will help you to.